the beautiful morning sunrise in the desert. <clears throat> hey everybody, it's Badger Wild, and uh, if you ain't figured out yet, we're still in the apocalypse today. Just watching the sun come up and getting ready to run out there, grab some more resources. I thought I would take a few moments before we just hop right into the game here. To mention that last time, we took off to find leather. I went up to find us some leather. We got 15 pieces of leather, and when I got to looking, I needed over 20. So we're close. We're close to this forge. We're close to the Iron Age. But we're not that close yet. So somehow we have to get five more. So that's what the continuation of yesterday's mission was. We're going to continue it today. <clears throat> we are on our hunt. Yes, and today, our beautiful hunt for wild animals begins. Why? Because we need wild animals to make fur. And we use the wild animals, we make fur to them, we go to the Iron Age, and I think my British accent is actually rather crappy, so I'm going to stop now. What's interesting today is I popped out of my base and I don't hear any zombies. Which means I've either killed them completely off or they're just not around. I need to do a quick sweep of the base. Because usually they show up right over here. Nope. That's weird. Looks like we're good. That's unusual. Oh, I'm level 5. I have 20 skill points to spend. That's weird. I haven't found a single zombie. Usually there's a bunch of zombies here. And so last night, I went ahead and looked at... Looked over the entire system. And picked up a map and discovered that the destroyed biome pretty much cuts clean through all the biomes. So what that means is uh, up here is where we found our little piggy at. Supposedly this biome goes all the way across here. So instead of basically fighting and going back the way we came before, we'll just cut across here where the lake is, pick up some water, and then head across and just go straight into that biome and see what we find. Hey, we have a fight right here. We're gonna need... I think I can brain this guy, though. Oh, missed. Oh, missed again. Oh my gosh, you... You twitchy. Oh my god, you twitchy thing. Stop that. Oh, he smelled me. Oh, what? In the heck? Yep, arrow to the knee, ladies and gentlemen. We're still using that valid tactic. Oh, man. Why am I shooting between his legs? I swear. <laughs> Nowhere to run this time. Oh my god. How am I missing this Joker's head? There we go. Oh, hey, another one. Uh, <laughs> got a little too close to that stupid cactus, eh? Oh, would you hold still? Man, I am just off today. I will take these shotgun shells, too. Uh, oh, 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 we may be at the destroyed biome. We just gotta take care of Mother... 
Mother Detta here. Big giant thunder thighs. It's going to be hard not to hit that stupid thunder thighs, lady. I hear things burning up there. Uh, why do these things always have decayed sandwiches? Yep, we're back over here with all the frickin' rain. While we're here, I'm gonna snag myself some good old wood. These trees have about a thousand of it. And I wanna get my hands on some real quick. Cause I'm gonna need a whole lot more wood for spikes and whatever not. And if I can take enough wood back, I can make a bunch of spikes to surround the base with. So, I gotta stop talking while I'm grinding. What is that? It's one of those burning zombies. Stun damage. Tell me I killed him. Burn victim. Ooh. I will take it. This is a freaking noise. I'm like a holy crap. Okay. Oxycontin. I found a pillow. Ooh, a deer. Hmm. Got to take him down. Now this deer does not see my stinking light. Is amazing. Wow, that was an amazing shot right there. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that thing went down so easily. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have our hide. That ended actually a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. <sighs> All right. Whip out the old bow. <gasps> the pig. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I ran right into him. Hey, piggy. Don't mind me. Oh. Don't you run. Crap. Pig. And you're gonna run right into a dang zombie and I'm gonna be screwed trying to kill you. Shoot. I knew this was gonna happen. Dang, how am I missing your thunder thighs anyway? I think you might be a little stuck at the moment. Or maybe not. Come on, baby, come on. Alright, I got some leather, I got some meat, all that stuff falling down there is probably just bones and tallow I don't need. Alright, uh, screw them. We... <sighs> so first off, let's go make a forge. Mm, I'll turn this into a forging room. Craft room, whatever you want to call it. Okay, <clears throat> so we have... 26 animal hide. Yay! We have a short iron pipe, six of them, 51 lumps of clay, and 132 small stones. So we should be able to build a nice little forge. Just gotta find the bellows. Should be here somewhere. Alright, we have a bellows. So we're gonna build up one of those. And with that... Okay, that's going to give us just enough to build our forge, which is going to take a couple seconds. Let's see if we can find the forge here. And I 
believe it's in this stack of stuff. I think. Right, here's an idea. Alright, see, so here we go. And we have everything to craft that, so now we're going to craft a forge, which will take about 48 seconds. And once that's finished, we will have us a nice little forge. And I can start smelting. And our forge is done. Kind of want to put it right here. Okay. So in order to use this thing, First, I'm going to take this lid here and scrap it. And then we're going to take about half of this wood that we've got and place it there. And then I want to put lead here and iron there. And that will start breaking all this down into ore. And in order to make other good stuff, I'm going to need some clay also. And, ladies and gentlemen, we are back over here at the forge again. Got a bunch of stuff done while I was out. And in that case, I can actually start smithing stuff. Now, you can notice here in this, when you're smelting, you've got these little numbers down here. And you've got iron, brass, lead, glass, stone, clay. And this basically is the equipment that you have smelted into a liquid. And it stays in a liquid form. And this basically just makes life easier for you, having a forge, because it adds a little bit more. And, like I said, said before, this is a, a simulator similar to, like, Minecraft. And it helps because... Well, like Minecraft, you, you win the game by controlling your environment. So, yeah. Uh, when you guys come back... Look at me, just destroying paintings. When you guys come back on day five, I will hopefully have this area converted into a storage room with storage boxes. So yeah, uh, this is Badger Wild. Once again saying y'all be safe out there. And even though I'm still in the apocalypse, I'm still surviving and I'll see y'all on day five.